Hi, David here, literacy educator at the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art. Thanks for joining us for our Eric Carle story time, in which I'll be sharing some of our favorite books by our good friend, Eric Carle. Today's book is about something that lights up the night. Ready to find out what it is? Drum roll, please. The Very Lonely Firefly. Big thanks to Penguin Random House for giving us permission to share this book. It's a lovely story about a lonely firefly in search of some firefly friends. Looking at our cover, we see a single firefly flying through the night sky. And if we look closely at its body, we see it has one, two antenna poking out of its head. Can you use your hands to make antenna on your head? Hello. How many legs does this firefly have? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. And it has these beautiful red wings to help it fly through the night sky. Can you turn your arms into firefly wings and flap them? Nice flapping. Another super cool thing about fireflies is that they're bioluminescent, which means that their bodies can light up. If we look closely at the bottom of this firefly's body, we see these bright yellow and white stripes already lighting up the night to attract other fireflies. Now that our bodies are warmed up, let's open up the book. On our end papers, we see these beautiful black and blue and turquoise squiggly lines, kind of like the night sky on the cover. And on our title page, we see that single firefly again, but this time it's not lighting up. Hmm. As we read this book, let's use our eyes to look carefully and try to help this firefly find its friends. The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly, and it flashed its light, searching for other fireflies. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. What was it? It was a light bulb lighting up the night. We see these two people looking out the window and one of them is saying, hear that noise? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. What was it? It was a candle flickering in the night. And now we see a person looking out the window saying, what's going on? The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. What was it? It was a flashlight shining in the night. And the person holding the flashlight is saying, Quiet out there. The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. What was it? It was a lantern glowing in the night. And the child holding the lantern is saying, Hey, stop fighting. And this child is saying, what is it? Hmm. The fire.
firefly saw several lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. What did it see? Yeah, there was a dog. And the dog is saying, grrr, bow wow. Let's try growling and barking like this dog. Grrr, grrr, ruff, ruff. What else did the firefly see? A cat. And the cat is saying, hiss, meow. Let's try hissing and meowing like this cat. Hiss, hiss, meow, meow. What else did the firefly see? An owl, their eyes reflecting the light. The owl is saying, whoo, let's try hooting like this owl. Hoo! 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 The firefly saw a light and flew toward it, but it was not another firefly. What was it? It was a car's headlights flooding the night. The people in the car are saying, look, wow, it's beautiful. Hmm. I wonder what they see. The firefly saw many lights and flew toward them, but they were not other fireflies. What were they? Yeah, they were fireworks sparkling and glittering and shimmering in the night. When all was quiet, the firefly flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then the very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. What do you think it saw? Let's count to three and find out. One, two, three. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. I'm so glad Firefly found its friends. Isn't it so cool that fireflies can light up their bodies to send signals to each other at night? What if we pretended that we're fireflies looking for each other in the night sky? Let's imagine it's nighttime and the sky is darkening. And in the dark, all of a sudden, we see a blinking light firefly. Let's tell this firefly that we're here by repeating that flashing light back to it with our hands. Kind of like a game of Simon Says. Ready to try it? One blink. Let's blink back once. Two blinks. Let's blink back twice. One, two. Three blinks. Let's blink back three times. One, two, three. Lots of fast blinks.
Now, slow blinks. Blinking up and down. Blinking in a circle. Blinking everywhere at once. Looks like we're at a firefly party with all our firefly friends. I'm so glad that we found each other. That was so much fun. If you feel like you want to keep playing, try playing a game of flashlight tag at home. Or visit the Carl's at home art studio and find lots of great ideas for experimenting with materials that capture, change, and celebrate light. We'd love to see what you make, so share your creations by tagging at Carl Museum on social media. On behalf of everyone at the Eric Carl Museum of Picture Book Art, thank you so much for sharing your stories with us. I hope you'll join us for our next Eric Carl book. Hint, it's about something that we do with our ears. Could it be? Tune in next time and find out.